Good morning, YouTube. We are about to do a quick weigh-in this morning. So let's see where we're at. All right, so we're currently sitting at 156.8. And we started at 156.2, so um, completely no stress at all. Uh, that is good, that means we're, we're holding weight. We are not gaining weight because like I said right now, I'm at maintenance calories. And to be honest, I'm already feeling like I'm loosening up. I feel like I'm less bloated. I feel my muscles feel more fuller. And that's just because it's the first time in like two, three, or <laughs> two, three months that I've actually been tracking my calories and getting the right amount of nutrients in my body. So I'm filling up a little bit. And just for a visual, and like you said, just like I said, just filling up a little bit. And that's it. So as the title states, we will be jumping into a at-home leg day today. I am very hyped up for this workout today because A, I got small legs. I need to grow them. Uh, two, I haven't worked legs literally since the week before the gym's closed. So it's been like three weeks since I worked legs. Um, these two weeks of quarantine so far, I've just simply went running, rode the bike and stuff. And I've never actually trained legs officially. So today will be the first official leg day workout. Uh, even got the <laughs> Alpha Elite leg day official shorts on to make those maximum leg day gains. I'm about to, right now, I need to take my morning supplements. And I need to clean Phoenix's cage. He left a few meatballs. And then I have a lot of work to catch up on. And I'll bring you guys with me on showing you guys a few things with the digital agency of week to week operations. Obviously in the morning, we gotta start off with our greens and I'm going to remember, if I do, I'm going to drop a link to all these supplements I use in the description. Um, they're not really like supplements, they're more of just like things I use to enhance my performance uh, in terms of like krill oil, uh, coconut oil, um, I take uh, raw shilaji, which honestly I probably didn't even say it right. Uh, I take, you know, like, I think it's niagen, um, true niagen. So I don't really take anything like, you know, test, test booster or your typical bro supplements. I take just some performance enhancing uh, things that's drastically helped out with my like, uh, just focus and mental uh, clarity. First chore of the morning, we need to go ahead and clean out Phoenix's cage. He did, like I said, he did leave a meatball. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and clean it out his cage. Start off with this in the morning. He's been very active um, so far. And in, in terms of like last night and stuff, I stayed up late and pretty much still with me. So it's my little holding cell for him. And what I do is I just collect trash bags or like target bags and stuff. And I just scoop out whatever, throw it in there. And of course, rubber glove. That's all you need to clean out a cage. King steaks are already extremely docile. Um, you know, I was watching <laughs> a few videos last night of, I forgot what his YouTube, what his name is. But he has a lot of herping, is what he calls it, in... Uh, Alabama, Georgia area. Uh, basically what that is, just going to flip over shit and finding snakes. And he found a bunch of speckled kings and he would literally just pick them up straight. Like these are wild snakes that's never probably seen a human in their life and like completely didn't do anything. They would just chill them like this. So king snakes are already very relaxed. There's a few people that do say they, they're more prone to biting you in terms of just because they're always hungry. Uh, they are pretty much a garbage snake. <laughs> so all they want to do is eat, eat, and eat. So um, he has no, I mean, it's also something else too. He has no fangs at all. Uh, it's, I forgot what they're called. They're just, it's just like regular teeth he has. So as like a human, your dog and stuff. Uh, so like a cat bite or a dog bite would hurt way worse uh, than this little guy right here. So that also, is what like doesn't freak me out about him. Oh my god, okay, dude. But if he say it was venomous or something like that, honestly, I would even own him. <laughs> I would never put my life on the line 
like that just to house a snake uh, that's venomous. So even though there is some amazing snakes that are venomous, such as the pit viper um, and the king cobra, I think are just amazing creatures to house. Alright, so I don't know if y'all can see, I kind of put a stick up in the corner, kind of wedge it up there. Oh, wait, it gives a little bit of elevation, and that way you can, so I want to be able to like perch up. So, hopefully that works well. We'll see how he likes it. When you talk about a snake right here that grew up, he's two years old. He's grown up with humans his whole life, so we really don't pose any threats to him. I've seen snakes before that went for a live feeding for the first time ever, and they're actually scared because they don't know anything else. Obviously, they have their instincts and stuff, but they don't know much else. And also, too, Snakes can't love you <laughs> like a dog or something like that. Um, they definitely aren't the smartest animals at all. They really are completely um, instinct-driven animals. But what they will do is they will get docile around you. And they'll see that you're no threat. Obviously, you'll have your accidents here and there. But that's okay. Currently right now, I'm working on some ad copy, or not really ad copy, some sales copy for Terrier Solutions. I do a weekly email blast. This is something I just started. So basically what I do is I take all my prospects, I keep them in active campaign to manage different touch points of the follow-up process. And also too, I'll send a once a week, I'm gonna start sending out a automated email to where it's more of just in terms of sales copy and stuff and basically trying to get them on a call. So another form of follow-up. So right now I'm trying to put together some really good copywriting, something, some just bouncing ideas right now of how exactly I want to do it. I really like the copywriting that kind of starts off with like a picture or something and then like tying the relevancy into that picture and like, hey, boom, book a call now with me and we can talk about your ad campaigns and stuff. So that's what I'm currently working on right now. After this, I need to create a post for Terror Solutions. I need to update their fa uh, Facebook page, LinkedIn page, and YouTube channel. So basically, I know something that I've been seeing a lot is I've been getting a lot of traffic to my social channels for my digital agency. And as a digital agency, I really never post anything on it uh, just because I get all my clients through prospecting and stuff on LinkedIn and double down on that, etc. But I do am, uh, I am getting people viewing my social channels for the agency and I wanna build up my credibility and authority. And if I have nothing posted on those sites, first off, it makes me look bad as a digital agency owner selling them on ads and stuff. And I'm not even posting content for the very least on my own channel. Um, that's an issue. So I need to focus and fix that as well. Um, Pretty much it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so I'm working on all that. I actually did eat already for the first time today. And let's see. Show you guys what I had. Um, I don't really have a picture of it, but I had 96.4 ground beef. I had four ounces of it. I had 250 grams of rice, oh, 110 grams of av avocado, and one small little pineapple container. Um, basically let's see i already kind of mapped out my meal plan for the day today but so far sitting good so i'm gonna go ahead and take care of all of this and then next clip you'll see we're gonna be jumping into our leg workout and like i said i'm hyped up for this because it'll be the first leg workout of this current uh prep but also the first leg workout at home so i'm interested to see what we could put together uh for this video today I'm really not gonna lie, it's currently 3.42 a.m. in the morning 
and I am just sort of recording this commentary for this video. But uh, yeah, so today is leg workout. This is the first leg workout I did at home since this quarantine, and actually like the first leg workout I did in the last three weeks. So uh, how did it go? It went, I'm honestly gonna, not gonna lie, it went better than I expected. I was actually able to do a lot more with weights than I originally planned, and I kept just getting creative. So I uh, started off with just doing some dumbbell lunges, and I know for me, I forgot what these are called, but it's basically you just kind of like, you do single, so you do like all your 10, I did four sets of 10 on everything, but I did 10 reps on my left leg, then 10 reps on my right leg, and that was a set. Uh, and then I jumped right here into some front squats, uh, basically, we have this little bicep curl bar uh, with some 25 pound plates and uh, like two uh, seven and a half pound dumbbell or uh, seven and a half pound plate and a two and a half pound weight both sides. So I don't know, it was like maybe 80 pounds, 90 pounds. This little setup right here and uh, just focusing on that front squat. And honestly, guys, it worked really well. I felt very exhausted just after these. And this is four sets of 10. So, and this is me coming from the gym doing, you know, sets of 225, uh, higher reps. So, but I think what I wanted to talk about today was really just digging deep right now into all of you guys' situations. Obviously, we're all in an overall bad place right now. Um, you know, you could blame government, you can blame the environment, it's just, there's all kinds of people you can point fingers at right now, uh, of where we at right now, um, and to be honest, it sucks, <laughs> but at the same time, we need to, you know, continue to push ourselves, even when we're at home, to do better in life, and that's another reason why I wanted to do this series, was just to show you guys, hey, look, here's me grinding every day, even though they get this whole quarantine thing going on, I'm still working my ass off every day to better myself. And we need to, and I encourage you guys to take an audit of your life right now. What is, what's going on? Are you someone that has been just sitting home every day since this quarantine and playing Call of Duty? Have you been falling behind on your schoolwork? You know, uh, some of these people are college students. Um, you know, maybe you just got laid off your job temporarily and right now you're at home doing nothing and just waiting for your job to get back i encourage you to use this time whether whether it's start a business that's cool you know i'm, I'm not going to say you need to go start a business but i will say it's a great time to get ahead in life overall so now's the time to try that hobby you maybe you've always wanted to try maybe you want to get into golf maybe you wanted to start reading more and learning more about business go for it you know, now is your time to do the things that you normally can't do or won't do uh, just because you're too busy when you do have work and school, etc. So now is your time to go after everything. I encourage you to use this time to better yourself overall. Uh, so like me, I'm going on this diet and everything. I've been working really hard with the digital agency, trying to land more deals and stuff. Because I know at the end of this, the people who slacked, the whole time i mean i don't want this to end and maybe worse like you know f a little bit more bulkier fatter etc and then maybe less deals that i have in my pipeline at the end of this because i wasn't focusing on growing and stuff as a whole so i want to encourage you guys to figure out what you can work on in your life right now what can you do to better yourself during this time period and you know maybe you're already maxed out maybe you're you're uh you know a dad or a mom have kids and stuff you're maxed out on time and everything that's cool look totally understand you know my heart goes out to you and stuff but i'm really focusing on the people right now who's been watching more than 30 minutes a day of netflix every day since this quarantine and specifically the people who don't have a job and using all their time with un fulfilling actions. I encourage you to expand, learn more, uh, set some goals for yourself, and you know, keep working on yourself during this time period. So, but this is it for this video, and we are gonna jump 
right back into the video. And we'll go outside for a second, wait for Kennedy to get here, because we're actually gonna go and take some photo shoot downtown. One direction. I'm jamming in one direction. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm great. I need to finish my workout, so. Finish your workout. We've got a few minutes left. Great. All right, guys. We are currently. Let me turn off the One Direction. <laughs> She's jamming out to One Direction right now. But we are currently at Plant Nutrition picking up a smoothie real quick, and we are actually going to go ahead, like I said, downtown after, um, and just get like some photos and stuff, and see how it goes. <laughs> so editing this episode, we're about to jump in the end of this episode, and <coughs> currently sipping or eating some. Ground, not ground. Oh my god, I was about to say ground beef. <laughs> okay, all good. Um, sitting down right now, I got 200 grams of white rice with six ounces of chicken. And I just did all my calories and my, my fitness pal. I actually still have a lot of calories left. So, and it's 12 o'clock at night. So, I definitely have to find something else I can eat sometime later. I'll probably just do like I thought about doing some oatmeal with some Nutella in it because I have enough fat. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, yeah, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. Also, too, let's jump right now. I'm going to do a quick montage of the photos we got downtown. Honestly, I was too focused with the camera to actually vlog. And uh, I literally used up the whole card of all of the photos. So three, two, one, boom. So yeah, it was pretty cool just to walk around, take some photos and stuff. Uh, downtown was pretty empty, so it was easy for us to take photos and stuff, not really get distracted, not really distracted, but be disturbed by other people. So um, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching today's episode, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.